Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. And today we are here to show you about some of the sounds that are included in MPC 2.0. A while back we had a user contact us and they asked us about the air music sounds. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you guys what comes from air music. Now, if you look on my screen, you'll see that I have a program loaded up and I have about eight tracks. So I'm going to start with this first track called DB33. This is the first sound that you'll notice alphabetically if you look at the Air Music Library. And just to show you how to get there, how to navigate to those plugins, let's go below. Now, if you see, I have tracks loaded up. I have a program. It's a plugin program. Plugin icon right there. You could either click here and that'll load up DB33, which we already have now. Or if you're loading the plugin from scratch, you're going to go to the left of that. Minimize this. So normally when you get in the software, your screen will look like this. You can either add the VST or the audio unit. I use VSTs. Doesn't really matter. Click that. Go to Air Music Technology, and these are all of the plugins that come with it. Now, the fun part is you also get effects. We'll go through that later. Now, with that said, this is DB33. It's basically an organ. Here's how it sounds. And just cause, let's see how, let's see how some chords sound on that. I'm on my MPC studio. Yeah, and for these purposes, that sounds pretty okay. Not the greatest in the world, but you get the idea, right? All right, so that's DB33. Let's go to the next one. Now from here, you have Loom. The interface looks like this, and Loom is essentially a graphic synthesizer of sorts. If we go to the bank, you'll see that we have everything from leads, pads, to et cetera, et cetera, so to speak. So right now I have a bell piano loaded up, but take a look at some of these sounds that we have, right? I'm gonna go to atmosphere. And I'm gonna click eternally up. I like the way that sounds. So yeah, the graphic interface is going to be something you definitely want to play with. So I will go through some of the sounds in here and check it out. But it's essentially a synthesizer of sorts. Pretty cool though, very colorful, and something dope that Air Music gave us for free with MPC 2.0. So let's keep going. Now, if we go to track three, we have another instrument from Air Music called Mini Grand. And as you could have guessed, it's a grand piano, a mini grand piano, so to speak. So let's play some chords just to show you all how that sounds like too. Hmm, interesting. Tough one to crack, but it is a grand piano. I'm gonna have to play with this one. Ah, I'm gonna have to play with this one some more, but you pretty much get what it is from the gist of that. So let's keep moving forward. Alrighty. Now we have Vacuum Pro coming up. And as you might have guessed, Vacuum Pro is another synth synthesizer. But this one is very cool too. I think I already have a patch loaded up, so I'm going to play that, see how it sounds. Maybe some chords. Oh yeah, 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 so you can definitely have some fun with this one. And the interface looks pretty nice. Looks like it comes with a couple LFOs, envelopes, the usual stuff that you find with synthesizers. So, so far we have a couple synthesizers, an organ, and a mini grand piano. And pardon me if I'm saying synthesizers wrong. 
That's a tongue twister. Say it five times. All right. Anyway, let's move on. Now we have velvet. Or, oh, audible. Actually, it turns out I loaded up expand, which is cool. This is another air music technology instrument that comes with MPC 2.0, as you can see, and it's a favorite. If anybody was a Pro Tools user back in the day, they should definitely recognize this. Expand has everything from brass sounds to lead instruments. It's essentially another synthesizer of sorts, but it's a very powerful one that comes with a lot of realistic patches. So let's see if we can load up something cool. So I've loaded up an acoustic piano and the patch is called Dream Piano. Let's just see how it sounds. Had to make sure you were still awake with that one. And that's a really good patch and it sounds very realistic. Sounds like a real piano with some reverb on it. And that's pretty cool. So that's Expand 2. We were going to show you that at the end. No worries though. I'll go ahead and change programs and show you how to do that if you don't know how already, just so we can go and take a look at Velvet. Now to change programs, I'm going to go down and where it says expand to, I click that arrow and I go to Velvet. Now as you can see, the actual plugin has changed and Velvet's loaded. So if I hit this little square button next to the name Velvet, Velvet pops up. And as you can see with Velvet, this is an electric piano. Another cool instrument that they've given to us, Scott Free, if you own MPC 2.0. So you pretty much get the gist of that one. So with that, we covered Velvet, we covered Expand. It looks like from that point, we only have one more sound to cover. Then I can show you some of the effects. Finally, we have the riser. And this is another pretty cool looking synthesizer that we can use. So I'm gonna scroll through and load a patch. And actually, I stand corrected. As the name would probably hint, the riser is actually good for, say if you need a, a sound effect, you know, to let you know when you're going into a verse, going out of a verse, that kind of thing. This would be really good for that. Give a kind of example. Really cool sound effects that you can use on your tracks so that you can work on your transitions in a very cool way. Let's load up one more patch to see how it works. So yeah, very true to its name. There are some rises, there are some transitions, Overall, it's a really cool instrument that Air Music has given us that we can use on our masterpieces anytime we want to use it. So, without further ado, now that I've showed you all the instruments, let me show you some of the effects that come with it too. I'm going to stay on this track. Alright, now that I've minimized everything, let me go ahead and put an effect on Insert 1. As you can see, you have your air effects. Sorry about that. Had to navigate down to the VST effects. Now you see an air music technology folder. And you see you can add DB33 effects right there. There are also a couple ones that come with it in terms of reverb, your EQs. Let's see if we can find those. And 
there you have it. In your audio units, you have some of the air music effects. Now, if you remember what Expand 2 looked like a second ago, these effects are going to look similar to that. See, they look like smaller versions of what we saw with Expand 2. Same color scheme and everything. And if you listen to that riser sound we just had, the chorus is definitely prevalent on it. So let's add like two or three more effects just so you can see what they all kind of look like. Same color scheme, right? And as you can tell, just like the chorus, it kind of altered the sound a little bit, right? And with that, I think you guys pretty much have the gist of it. Don't want to hold you too long, but those are the air music technology sounds and effects that come with MPC 2.0. If you're still on the fence about picking it up or if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. We'll see you next week. Peace.